Recently, there's been an extraordinary surge in interest in single-sex education. Study after study suggests that students in single-sex learning environments outperform their co-ed counterparts. Evidence shows that students in single-sex schools have more positive outlooks toward their academic and educational experience in general. Besides better grades, they develop better organizational skills and are more likely to participate in classroom activities. Single-sex schools improve student achievement by accommodating cognitive, social, and developmental differences in girls and boys between the ages of 12 and 16. All girls schools are valuable because girls thrive in these environments. We're, we take girls seriously. We care about what they think, how they learn, uh, and they internalize that value so that they then expect to be taken seriously. Academic advantages are measured in test scores and grades, but there are numerous other rewards to single-sex schooling. The biggest benefit? Single-sex classrooms eliminate gender stereotypes and social distractions, so typical of adolescents, which results in increased self-confidence, self-esteem, and self-worth. In single-sex schools, students have more opportunities to explore and experience leadership, academics, athletics, and the arts, unbound by gender stereotypes. I don't think there are any stereotypes in single-sex schools because girls play every role. They're the president, they're the editor, they're the captain. Um, they uh, are surrounded by women role models and obviously lots of male teachers here and male administrators, so they're seeing men and women work together in a partnership, which I think is a positive role model for them. I think single-sex education is so important for so many different reasons. Um, I think it's really important for girls, especially at the high school age. I teach science, I have taught math, and I can't tell you the difference it is having a co-ed classroom versus a single-sex classroom. I think the girls feel a lot more comfortable being wrong, going out on a limb, whereas and it's a really supportive environment. If there were boys there, I don't know that they'd feel so supportive. I think that it's really empowering for everyone to um, be able to be surrounded by the same sex and not feel um, put down or really worried about what the opposite sex may be thinking. The result is often more well-rounded and confident students who aren't afraid to try and succeed at new things. With so many advantages, single-sex schools are sure to become a popular option for parents and students alike. Madeira girls are forthright, curious, engaged, ethical. They're the girls who raise their hands and speak up, introduce themselves, they debate, they discuss, and they applaud. They're very appreciative of the education they're getting. I say we have legions of unelected and elected leaders. They are girls that you could trust to be their best selves, and they are in this environment. For 100 years, the Madeira School has engaged the minds and nurtured the confidence of young women in its unique environment. Located 12 miles from the nation's capital on nearly 400 acres, this boarding and day school is one of the country's leading single-sex high schools for girls grades 9 through 12. Madeira is a dynamic and varied community that appreciates the distinctive academic, social, and emotional needs of young women. The typical Madeira student has the same pressures that any high school student has, and yet at Madeira, the girls are enthusiastic about more than just their college placement. They enjoy learning. We have a great time in the classroom. They really uh, enjoy the intellectual pursuit of, of the classroom. Madeira brings power to her girl's intellect, nuance to her thought, and stamina to her pursuits. We believe having something to say means nothing if there are no ears to hear it, minds to oppose it, or hands to act upon it. Madeira girls ask questions, offer suggestions, lend guidance, and pursue passions. She is the girl who steps out of the pack. Driven by curiosity, she questions theories and seeks answers. When you add the voices of more than 6,000 Madeira alumni, you come away with a resounding case for women's education, for a Madeira education. Madeira strives to offer an education in which girls will thrive. Our goal is for them to achieve their personal best. For different individuals, that might be math, might be science, might be sports, might be the arts. But we're trying to educate a girl, to graduate a girl, who is confident, competent, smart, and ethical. Madeira is a very mission-driven school. We're very aware of, of what we're trying to accomplish with these girls in terms of getting them uh, to be lifelong learners, to enjoy the classroom and the classroom experience, and going out and continue to pursue knowledge. For more than a century, 
The Madeira School has led girls on a life-defining journey in education, independence, and self-discovery. Located just outside Washington, D.C., our all-girls boarding school emphasizes new experiences, new passions, and new strengths. That's why Madeira girls always have something to say. I would look back on Madeira and remember how involved the administration was with my life. All of the colleges that I'm applying to are fairly large schools, and this is a school with 300 students, um, and it's a one to seven ratio of faculty to students. So therefore, the faculty is very engaged with all the students' lives. There's a lot of aspects about Madeira's atmosphere that inspire girls to try new things, but I think the most important one is definitely the all-girls aspect, because before when I went to a co-ed school, I never realized how embarrassed I did get around guys, and when I came to the all-girls atmosphere, I wasn't embarrassed to mess up or to just sometimes get the wrong answer, because they don't, girls don't care, You're, they're your peers, and you really just have the opportunity to try over and over again until you get it perfect. Everyone makes you feel welcome, so they don't make you feel like you know, if you can't do something perfect, you're just not good at it. You should never try it again. They want you to try new things. They want you to develop new talents. And everyone's so supportive of one another. I feel like Madeira is a place where you can really get into any activity that you want. If you want to join a sport, you can join a sport. If you want to do drama, you can do drama. At Madeira, I've tried a lot of new things, but the most important thing to me was definitely figuring out that I loved politics and being able to be in student government. When I was at home, I never thought I'd be in the student government representing my class and being their voice for the whole school. And at Madeira, I've really been able to do that and find my passion in politics and government. I found the passion for sports. Um, I've been playing tennis every season, fall and spring, since freshman year. And the <laughs> adrenaline that that you feel when you're out on the courts is just a wonderful feeling. I think that what's special about Madeira is definitely our co-curriculum program. Um, it gives us opportunities to get out of the classroom and go into the real world and have experiences that other high school students just don't get to have at our age in our school. The co-curriculum experience of Madeira is like no other. It has really shown me what my passions are and made me figure out like who I am. I have a resume by the time I graduate Madeira that most college students don't have. This year I'm interested in journalism, so I'm working for a local newspaper and I get to work on the layout, I write my own articles, so I really get to see every step of the process, which is really great because it's something I'm considering a career in, so I'm kind of getting a taste of that now. On junior year, our entire year is our American year. We take American history, American literature, and for co-curriculum, we all work on Capitol Hill. And I was lucky enough to work for Barack Obama. Um, which was probably the most fulfilling experience of my life. Working on the Hill for a senator made me realize that I actually do like working in an office and I love politics and I love to, to debate and I love all the educational aspects of it. The typical Madeira girl would be confident and passionate about everything that she does. She's confident, she's independent, she has a lively spirit. She's very focused, very honest, she has so much school spirit. She uh, is a pleasure to be with because she's polite but curious, respectful, but knows how to joke around and tease. She may have a lot on her plate, but no matter what, she always comes out on top. She's pretty amazing.